Hey, Brian Glass here, engineer at Newborn. I'm going to go through how to use your sausage gun, and I'll be demonstrating that with our most popular model, our 620 AL. Um, that's a 20 ounce sausage gun. In the 600 series, we also have a 610 AL, which is a 10 ounce, and that's what the last two digits stand for is the volume. 634 AL, which is a 34 ounce. These are in the 600 series, that's an 18 to 1 thrust ratio. Uh, what that means is for every one pound of, of force that you generate on the trigger, it's 18 times that pushing the material out. So if you put two pounds of pressure on the trigger, you're getting about 36 pounds pushing. Uh, we also have a 26 to 1 thrust uh, series, that's the 900 series, that's the 924 AL, and we also have a 932 AL as well in that uh, series. So out of the box, the 620 AL is equipped with the white sausage only cup. And that cup is, just as the name says, it only allows you to use this, this gun as a sausage gun. We also provide our dual hydro cup and our conical ejector. This is the dual hydro cup conical ejector combination that when installed in the gun instead of the, the sausage only cup will allow you to do bulk and sausage. It also is a nice uh, system in that sometimes you'll, you'll have um, highly viscous, um, or I should say not very viscous, very thin materials, some self-leveling stuff for instance, and uh, the sausage pack may get pinched and then over time you know these cups might wear and, and the sausage could get behind it and get pinched. This cup system, when I install it, you'll see it will uh, essentially seal that inside diameter and, and prevent that from happening. And we'll also, as for a bulk gun, we'll also give you that vacuum that you need to create to suck the material in. And it also comes with three plastic cones. Now you can purchase a couple of uh, accessories separately. The ladder hook, it replaces your T-handle, which is nice to uh, put on the swing stage or a ladder and hang it on there. Uh, we also have some specialty nozzles. These are our bead buddies that, as you can see, they articulate. There's a small version that you can keep building onto if you purchase a number of these. And there's also our large version that uh, you cannot build onto it, but as just like the small one allows you to articulate and get into uh, unique positions. Now to load your sausage gun with a sausage pack, grab the back handle, press the thumb release, draw the rod all the way back, Take your sausage pack, slide it into the gun, down the barrel. Now I've put the rod a little too far back. Bring the sausage pack right up to the edge here. And take a knife and instead of cutting the entire uh, metal crimp, crimped end off the, the, uh, beneath the metal uh, crimp there, which can create a mess down the road, I simply just put a couple slits with the tip of the knife and that foil pack will open up under the pressure. Then with I'll take my cone and I'll determine which angle and which size opening I want to create and I'll cut that. So I take my nozzle that I've cut open, place it inside the end cap, screw the end cap on and you're ready to extrude material just like you would any other caulking gun. Now to change your uh, sausage gun over to a 10 ounce cartridge gun, what you'll do is remove your barrel, loosen the set screw, and then just by hand you can remove the sausage only cup. Put your barrel back on. You'll see the space in there, it allows for the uh, outside of the cartridge to sit down in. I guess there's several ways to do this, but just like that. Put your ring cap back on. And then you're ready to go and extrude a 10 ounce cartridge. Now to change the sausage gun over to a bulk gun, or uh, 
if you're having issues with sausage packs pinching because it's a really thin material or that your sausage only cup is worn out, you would remove the barrel, loosen the top set screw, and you can loosen the sausage only cup by hand. And you take your dual hydro cup conical ejector combination. Just get that started by hand. Screw that down. Not too tight, just, just so it, it hits. And what you can do is actually leave your set screw loose because what happens is once you put the gun back together and there's some friction there from that, that cup inside and that's what creates the, the suction you see there's a seal all the way in there with that dual hydrol cup and that's what's going to create the suction to draw the material up for bulk and also prevent the sausage back from going behind the cup and pinching now to open the metal bucket, uh, you can use this pale lid opener that we carry. Uh, works great on the metal buckets, on, on plastic buckets, paint cans, a whole, whole number of things. And this little piece here will uh, cut the slot on the plastic lid. And uh, anyway, so it's just nice to use. It's a lot easier than using a flathead screwdriver, as you can see. Just go around and pry them all open and you'll be able to open it up. Now once you've pried all the tabs up with the uh, pale lid opener, so take the lid off, remove the uh, plastic or any other seal that the manufacturer might have put in there. Now using our sausage gun as a bulk gun, the more popular of the two ways to load it uh, would be using a follower plate. Because this is going to be the, the cleaner way to go. Um, you're not going to get material on the, uh, on the gun, on the, on the coarse threads that are on the sausage gun. Uh, and what you'll do is you take your, your follower plate, you're going to put it, and the, the name is uh, that way because of what it does, it follows the top level of the sealant as it goes down. And what it also does is with that neoprene seal on the outside edge, it'll clean the inside of the, uh, the pail as it goes down. So push it down, try to get it as level as you can, push out some air pockets. And you'll start getting a little material to push up through the uh, center hole. And you're just simply going to take your sausage gun, put it down over, slide it over the O-ring gasket there, and that uh, that's our quick connect disconnect uh, gasket. Others on the market, you have to screw it down on and unscrew it, and that just takes a lot of time. And what you're going to do is you're going to simultaneously push down on the back of the handle while pulling the rod back. And to do that, you're going to have to hit the thumb release. This is how I do it. You can do it this way uh, if you like, but I prefer to just put it my hand on the thumb release and push down it just a little easier. Make sure there's no air pockets. So what I, like I said, I'm simultaneously pushing down on the fiber plate and pulling back on the rod. There you go. There's a little bit of a, a gap there. You can gun the material a little bit to bring it to the front, take your, your uh, end cap and, and whatever cone you want to use. In this case, I've got my smaller bead buddy. Let's see, I can just get the material flowing out first. There we go, I can feel it. Just like that. And then stop the flow, hit your thumb release. Now, if you opt to uh, use the sausage gun as a bulk gun with, without a follow plate, um, it's a, there's a little bit more mess involved, and uh, I think fewer people do it this way, but it is an option. Uh, you just drop it in about an inch below the surface, which is essentially going to cover your uh, threads here, you about an inch below the surface, and draw it up like a big syringe. Now, like I said, there's, there's going to be a mess, and because you have these coarse threads or these larger threads than our standard bulk steel barrel bulk gun this is probably done less 
then the combination of the sausage gun converted to bulk and the, using the follower plate. But this can be done, so I want to demonstrate that as well. Before I do anything, I'm going to pull the rod back a little bit, spray the front with a little bit of WD-40. And that just gives it a little bit of less likelihood of uh, getting really messy. So all you're going to do, make sure my rod's all the way down. Drop the front end in. Like I said, you drop it in about an inch below the surface. And move it around to make sure there's no air pockets. And while holding the thumb release down, and I'm doing it with some of the palm of my hand, because you need to get a good drawback because of the vacuum. I'm going to draw it up slowly and every so often wiggle it a little bit, making sure I'm below the surface of the bolt material. Now, that's good enough for the demonstration. And you see I went a little bit deeper and got a little bit more on this end than I wanted, but that's why the follow plate version there's is a little bit easier. Now in this case I'll use the small bead buddy version just to demonstrate. Get that a little cleaner. still flowing so to stop that you would just hit your thumb release. Well thanks for tuning in. If you have any further questions or are in need of any other information please contact our customer service department. Thanks and have a great day.